Uh, hey guys, uh, my name's Alex TZ. How are you guys doing? Oh my god, I just, I was just chilling on my laptop, just watching some YouTube and all that, and then I just found this on the homepage. What the hell is this? I yo, I was actually so shocked. I was like, hey yo, I need to get record this right now. And look, Star Wars Outlaws world premiere trailer from the official Star Wars trailer. Oh my god, what the hell? This needs to, I need to watch this right now. So guys, let's, let's get right into this, honestly. Ooh, here we go. These are dangerous times. Oh, here we go, the Ubisoft At least game. That's what yes. I hear. The Empire? They're everywhere. But the world here... Han Solo. Belongs to the syndicates. Oh my god, this looks so good already. If I want to survive, I have to play their game. Oh, what, the hell? what the hell is this being? It looks so cute. <laughs> looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. One second thought, I'm out. <laughs> oh, look at that. There she is. This definitely isn't gameplay, but this looks cool either way. It reminds me of the Eclipse trailer that came out. My whole life. And now, I just need a chance to finally be free. Wherever that takes me. I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. A BX commander, <laughs> You're gonna have to trust me. You'll be dangerous, risky. But if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder again. Oh, okay, that's cool. Rank. That's Kajimi right there. That has to be Kajimi. That looks like Kajimi. The underworld shows no mercy. Mike Sinek is definitely in this it's game. It's a big galaxy out there, cool. and I'm gonna risk it all. Star Wars Outlaws Star coming Wars out in 2024. 2024. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, guys. That was incredible. Let me just, I'm going to replay the trailer again, but I'm going to have the audio lower down so you can still just hear it a little bit. But guys, that was an absolute, that was pretty cool, man. I, like, I remember when we saw the Stars Eclipse trailer, that was really cool to see. Like, obviously, um, what was it? You know, I loved the idea of that we were going to on a whole different time era, which was really cool to me personally. But this is pretty cool as well. Like, look at this. For example, this is Han Solo right here. Is that that's gonna be pretty cool to see as well? Uh, obviously, made by Lucasfilm Games, and I knew this. The fact that this game has been rumored for over so many years now. So I think ever since Battlefront Two was like cancelled, we had known about a project about um, an open world Star Wars game, which was gonna be made by Ubisoft. So it's really cool to actually see a game. Boss gonna be like this, and then well, there you go. Star Wars Outlaws. What an absolute great name as well for this kind of game. And um, looks like that we're gonna be mostly following this character, this main character, and also this being is so adorable right here. Not not this guy. Um, where is he at? Where is it? Uh, it's not here at the moment. Uh, but like, I'm very curious in what we're gonna do in this game because like, obviously we have this other character. We almost have this Luthen Rail kind of character who sh like ends up being in our ship. And it's like, I could give you a deal that will benefit you very well or something. And I'm just like, curious, because like, uh, we look around here. So like, for example, I think we saw in the trailer that we're, this is Kajimi. Oh, by the way, can I just say, look at this. This looks amazing. <laughs> we just have this guy with like, with like a BX commando droid with like a jacket. That's just kind of fun. And we have this guy who I guess is going to be like the Luthen Rail kind of character. 
Uh, but if we look later in the trailer, I think that is Kajimi right there. I just it gives me the vibes that this is Kajimi, which is kind of interesting because obviously, if you've seen the last the the Rise of Skywalker, we know this planet gets blown up. So it's kind of interesting we get to see more of that planet. And then what is this here? That looks a bit like Canto Bite to be honest with you, which is actually pretty insane. Canto Bite. It was not exactly the best part of the Jedi. What was it called? The Last Jedi again? God, am I forgetting this already? But um, yeah, that was not exactly the best part of the Last Jedi. But it was kind of an interesting part to see. You know, the, another part of the galaxy that we've never known about before. And then, yeah, we have uh, uh, Star Destroyers. We got the Nebulon B. Uh, frigate we have this is our kind of ship I guess I hope we get to customize our ship too in this game I will definitely uh, make a five things I want to see in this game um, sometime in the future I don't know exactly in when but it will come out sometime in the future so yeah uh, stay tuned for that video uh, but this game honestly I I'm liking this look so we have we have this character, we have this alien being, which is kind of hilarious, and then we have the BS Commander Droid, which uh, could be a really cool side character. And the fact this is going to take place in the Imperial era, I think it makes sense. It does, I guess, it's kind of cool. Um, this, I like this. This kind of gives a homage to uh, Solo, the Star Wars story, which had this same slanted look. So I like that kind of vibe that we're going to go for for the, the main kind of title card for the game. And so, yeah, as you can see, it's been made by Massive and Ubisoft. So, and as you know, Ubisoft was made by the keep the people who made, for example, the Division games and some other games too, which I can't remember from the tops of my head right now. So, uh, yeah, this is actually really cool to see. I, I was so surprised when I saw this on my homepage. I was like, what the hell? Uh, but yeah, look, so you got the Empire. Uh, they're E11, uh, E11s, I think. We have the Pike Syndicate are going to be in this game. This is pretty cool to see. Han Solo and Carbonite. Is this going to take place during that kind of gap in, um, what was it? In Return, like Return of the Jedi. Between Return of the Jedi and um, Empire Strikes Back. Because that is obviously when Han was actually in Carbonite. And the fact that takes place within a year. So I'm curious if we're, oh, you know, it'd be so cool to see in this um, game. Is any of the OG the OG characters like Luke or Han or Leia. That would be cool to see. I know we see Han here technically, but like in the flesh. Um, so yeah, that might be interesting to see. Uh, but we'll, we'll, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I might, I don't know. I'm going to probably just say I'm going to end off the video here now, but can we just like look at this little, <laughs> look at it. It looks so adorable, man. It looks like a, a mix between an axolotl and a, a loft cat, honestly. It's kind of adorable. Um, but yeah. Uh, so it looks like she's been wanted as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to probably end off the video here now. So uh, guys, I hope you did enjoy this trailer as much as I did. And most importantly, yes, of course, I will be playing this game on the channel when it does come out. Again, it's 2024, so we all don't know when this is going to actually come out in exactly. But uh, you'll definitely be more than assured that I'll be putting this content out in the channel when the game does come out. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this reaction and this trailer. So guys, don't forget to take it easy. And most importantly, peace.